So we're here at Drexel University, and um, I understand that they've uh, forged an agreement that will see the US Open being here for the next 10 years. Indeed, yeah. Okay. She's got a wicked boast, Laura. It's such a tough working shot, so even when you get that ball back, you've done such work to get to it, there's not much you can do with it. You expose yourself a little bit. That's a great shot from we were Getting in there, sort of holding it slightly. Three, one. Hiding it uh, from Laura there, yeah, comes out of nowhere. She's really solid across the middle of the court, and she's very good at, in straight lines as well. And so, like you say, if you can... It's a great shot. It's a great shot. It's just too much there, too on too early. And Four. Perfect length. Neither, neither player right now really prepared to sort of step up and sort of take the game with a scruff of the neck. Still sort of just feeling each other out a little bit. I think the longer this style of game goes on, the more it's going to stoop. So. Six four. Oh, another unbelievable wow. boast! I'm glad I'm not having to chase <laughs> after those guys. Eight four. <laughs> so, uh, oh, right there! Look at that. She's picked it up a little bit here as well. She's played some better length. Oh, that's oh, a great that's a shot, shot from Laura. Game two, Dead Masaro, straight, 11 in the back. Masaro that leads. up the first game, game for Laura Masaro. Not sure if she has to check her notes this time, yeah, Scott. She uh, seemed to be pretty textbook on that one. Two on the wheel. She's got a lot of experience and knows what she's looking for. So, And then yeah. goes back to chipping it down there, that's holding right. her. And here's another boast. And look out. <laughs> Wee Wern is doing an enormous amount of work here. Laura just seems happy to go back to chipping and ch chipping it away and then firing it off whatever comes off that the short ball. You know, Wee Wern might also maybe think about leaving one of those uh, some of those short balls in there. Yeah, just the straight counter, drop. counter drop. Yeah. There again, just letting the ball go to the back. There just needs, there needs to be more urgency, urgency there to actually take that ball out of the air. And even if you're not looking to attack the ball too much, just you know, mix up the pace a little bit. Oh, That's a good shot. There you great go. shot. Fantastic There's, rally. My goodness. Yeah. And as you're saying, Natalie, it's the straight drop of the finish there, there that, that did the damage. So maybe that's something that she needs to maybe look at. Keep it composed, not panicking too much. And again, just showing signs of maybe uh, growing in confidence as we oh, say that. Perfect, Nick. Yeah. Great width from Laura. A little lucky, maybe, but yeah. uh, you know, when you're aiming that tight, it's yeah. a lot you're looking for. Yeah, a couple of big points coming up. There's a huge difference between, uh, as you know, between two love down and, and one all. Oh, she got a, a tight one off there. Oh, yeah, wonderful straight drive there from Laura. She really made and a play. Great pickup. Look at that pickup yeah, from we were yeah. picking it off the side wall there with. How Laura takes that space yeah. Yeah. and then really punishes you with fantastic length, so straight. Just waits for you to get out of the way enough and then buries you. Yeah, it's almost like she creates that time where you've got to make the decision first and then she, wherever you go, she just hits it the other way. And again, it's just you know, quality of shot, really. Yeah. Creating a time for herself, it's good. That one. Maybe she's not prepared to be tricked oh, by that little post anymore. Wow. There you go. She's got it. You see, you know, as you said earlier, you know, you know, if, if we weren't as prepared to stay up the court, she would yep. put those balls up. And uh, again, and just a little bit shortly with that width. And, uh, sounds easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so easy. Oh. oh. She played, she's played it. it. Clever. Well yeah, she done. needed to. Go. Yeah. Fantastic. So she did actually get, the end, get there. She did, you know. She stuck the course and, you know, again, just kept close enough in the match in the game there where you know I guess Laura never really got away in that one and I guess she made a couple of errors in the middle of the game but towards the end there was actually pretty tight is that if you hit a really straight ball it's going to stay straight and it can be a little harder to pick off the visual is a little bit different than you know the white oh, wonderful cross court width there just have to break break away from Whoa. my thoughts on the glass court <laughs> to uh, look at that oh, angle that, that
Oh, oh that's a great finish. Well done, it's pretty casual. Very casual. Stepping across, and uh, there you go. Right at the crack. Yep. Again, just a, a couple of short balls there, just being a little bit tentative, you know. And I think uh, if you're going to take the ball in, you know, be aggressive about it, you know. Make sure you hit it well. There it is there again. I like go. that. Yeah. I like that play. I think Laura's movement to the left front is uh, perhaps a little bit more streamlined. She likes to go in on that right leg up into the front right. Right leg is going in, and uh, it's a little bit more of a close, close position. So. Oh, great hold oh, yeah, from Laura. There you go. Good shot. Just enough and enough power on that. Yeah. But again, it was just the length and width that forced that weak boast, like you're saying, from the, on the forehand side there and created that time in the front. You know, if the ball's not necessarily a winner, at least it's sort of getting her out of position a little bit where she can take advantage of the rest of the court. You know, at this level, you're looking for any weakness you can. That's right. That's, that's a, a great shot. finish by Laura there. Play. Just stretched her long arms out there. Yeah, and yeah. just redirected the ball nicely and uh, just out of we were in Lowe's reach. So, you know, three points is not an insurmountable deficit, but she can't let her get away any further than this. Loose wrist there from yeah. her on that volley. Put the ball into the side wall. Ah, Laura's yeah. playing some great, great squash here. Higher pace, yeah. you noticed, but yeah. uh, she's really hitting her targets. It's tight great right shot. There. Fantastic finish by uh, We Were. I like this tactic from Laura. Yep. Much more length, taking her chance, moving. We were out of the way in the middle of the court. As I said earlier, just going back to the bread and butter that's got her to this Absolutely. position in the first place. Sucking in. Great length. Oh, oh that's again. Ball, though. Probably should have let that bounce. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This really yep. is neck and neck now. Yeah, to say the next couple of, port, uh, couple of points, the most important of the match, would uh, be standing the obvious. That's, a, that's unbelievable. Lucky. <laughs> say, say Good length, though. You go for luck. it. You like put, it, before. I mean, you you put it as close to those yeah. necks as you possibly yep. can, and sometimes you get one. Yep. Oh, that's a tight ball from Laura. Good shot right there. Really working each other hard around the corner. Wondering if we're about to see. Oh, oh. well. I was going to say, I was wondering if we're going to see one of Laura's yeah, boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see us around, almost setting it up for it. But, uh, we were playing tight to squash. She is she? instead a, a great tight ball down the backhand side there from, uh, from We Wern. And uh, here we are at two games all. You know, what you prepared for. Oh, oh, that's a great boast. Look at Weewood. She is moving. I think she's moving she's get that as well. better. I mean, Always she's almost here. Best, better in the fifth game good than shot. she is in the, in the previous one. Yeah, it's, she's just got sort of more and more confident oh, with her movement. She's on the ball in a flash up there and just knocks the ball back in behind Laura. Here, just on it really quickly. and Look at that wrist there it goes. Flick yep. down the line. Down the Opening in the court, oh, and go. Laura takes advantage. Another great hold. She kept that one low enough. Both players picking, picking off some well-struck drives and just taking the pace out, making sure they don't give anything away. Yep. We weren't losing that boast. Maybe she's uh, seen Laura play that on her too That's many right. times. Oh, oh, look at that. Great That's hold. a great ball. Look at, that. Look at the rest there. Yeah. Generating some real Seven pace, hole. Laura didn't even see that. Yep. And just the angle that she created there that. was just a knifing angle. And oh, I think we, you and I need to have a game of squash now, Scott. I know fishing's a sport too, right? But <laughs> it's ridiculous. That was a big point for Laura, 9-7. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what oh, a boast. Look at that, that was there like it a is. half an inch above the tin there. Yeah. Look at her Ten step, seven. look at her. She's really want to get Nine on with this now. Hole. That was. You've seen some phenomenal athleticism for the girls here. 
Really. There's that both. boast, working her around again, the corner. That's a tight one there from Weeworn. Oh, she really plays that with side spin that just dies on it, doesn't yeah, it, that boast? Weeworn's doing well here just to sort of you know, hang in there and, well, oh, this could be trouble here, though. Oh, yeah. and there she does go. it. Look at that, go. great hold. Just a small fist pump there from yeah. Laura. She's probably quite relieved to get through that, Scott. I think, I think so, yeah. Six, nine, you know, 11, great 11, for both six, players, though. 9-11, 11-7.